Hey guys, in this video I'd like to show you how we do a workaround to create a new Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So you can learn Spring Boot uh, without the need to have IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, which is costly. I am Nam Haming at Java.net. Okay, let's get started. Let me open IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on my computer. You see, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA 2025.1 Community Edition, as you can see here. And on the welcome page, when I click the new project button here, and you can see there's some options to create a new uh, project, but very limited to Java, Kotlin, Groovy. And you see a generator for Spring, but it requires uploading to IntelliJ IDEA, IDEA Ultimate, which is costly. You must pay some money to use IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. So, what if you want to learn Spring Boot? Get started to learn Spring Boot, but you have only the Community Edition. Let me show you how to create a new Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Open a web browser and head over to the Spring Initializer Tool website as this URL start.spring.io. This is the official page of the Spring Initializer Tool provided by the Spring community. This online tool lets developers to quickly generate Spring Boot project. And on the left side, you can see you need to uh, specify uh, information, so specify the details for the project, such as the project type, Maven, Wado, or the language, Java, Kotlin, or Groovy. I'm familiar with Maven, so I choose Maven. If you are familiar with Wado, you can choose Wado. Okay, I choose Maven, and the default language is Java. So I choose Java. Java is selected by default here. And by default, the latest stable version of Spring Boot is selected as of uh, May 2025, it is 3.4.5. If you want to use older version, you can select here. And then uh, fill in the project metadata, such as the group ID, artifact ID, name, description, package name. Here I enter group ID, net.codejava artifact Spring boot ammo name Spring Boot demo app and description demo project for Spring Boot with a simple REST API. I will also show you how to code a simple REST API and run and test the API and package name Java package name and the asnet.codejava.rest and the default packaging type is jar that uses an embedded Tomcat server to run the application and the default Java version is Java 17 you can choose a new one such as Java 24 or Java 21 oh, okay, I stick with Java 17 okay, and then on the right side you can choose, you can add a dependencies to the projects. Click the Add Dependencies button here, and it lists uh, various dependencies you can choose from here. Okay, so depending on the requirement of the project, you can choose the required dependencies. Yeah, uh, for a simple Spring uh, web application, I can choose the Spring web dependency to be web in including RESTful applications using Spring MVC. Okay, if you want to use more dependencies, you can search here. For example, if you want to use Spring Data JPI to use a uh, relational uh, database, you can choose it here. Or if you want to use Spring Security, you can type a keyword here and it quickly shows the result. So it is very easy to add dependencies to your project. And know that you can always uh, modify the project details 
on the left side and the events is on the right side even after the project was generated okay and when done fill in the details click the generate button at the bottom here to download a zip file of the project so i save the zip file under my downloads directory click save okay show in file and then you can see it is a zip archive file and the next step is we need to extract this zip archive file with the uh, uh, zip archive utility okay it is extracted and you can see the generated file here and then now we can open this project in IntelliJ IDEA switch to the IDE and click the open uh, button on the welcome page here and choose the directory extracted here click open okay and when you see this warning click just project okay here we go it is opening a new Spring Boot project generated by the Spring Initializer tool you can see let's explore explore the generated code here this is the main class as you can see here this is the main class that bootstraps a new Spring application using the Spring Boot application annotation okay and this is the application configuration file that's the name of the application and for unit testing it also generated a default test class yeah we can skip that's it very simple it's uh, empty uh, Spring Boot project and this is a project file Maven dependencies where you can see the information about the project details group ID, artifact ID, version, name, description and you can see the Spring Boot version is 3.4.5 you can change the version of Spring Boot here uh, update the project information here and the dependencies section here where you can configure uh, dependencies for the project Spring Boot set a web is to use Spring Web and it automatically added Spring Starter test okay and if you need you can add more dependencies in this section okay that and now let me code a very simple rest controller class right click new java class and enter the class name for example my controller so you can see this here check a work around to create a new Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition without the need to use Spring, sorry, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and use the REST controller for RESTful web services uh, controller and the handler method. For example, hello and return hello Spring Boot in IntelliJ Ultimate, sorry, community. Okay, and to expose this API, we do it need to use the get mapping annotation and specify the API endpoint, which is hello. Okay, very simple, right? Okay, and now we are ready to run our first Spring Boot application in the main class there. You click the run uh, button on the main method or on the main class click here run Spring demo okay you see here we go Spring boot logo and something printed in the console saying that uh, Tomcat server start started here you see Tomcat started on port number 8080 with context path is slash started Spring demo application in one second okay that means the Spring application is up and running and ready to receive client request okay and to test the API out you can open the terminal here open terminal and use the curl command to test curl localhost port number 8080 contact slash hello is the API endpoint as we uh, 
rod in the controller here, hello. And I use the dash V flag to see the details of request and response. Hit enter. And here we go, you see the details of the request, rest, trust, hello, the response here. Yeah. Status to our OK successful content length 40. And the response body is the text, hello, Sovereign Boot in IntelliJ India community. Great, right? You can also test in web browser. Let me copy this API endpoint and switch to Chrome browser and open a new tab and paste here and hit enter. Hit enter and then you can see hello Spring Boot in IntelliJ IDEA community. Very simple, right? And you can open the developer tools. Sorry, open the developer tools in the browser here to uh, see the details of the request and response. Hit enter again. Then you can see the details of response. Headers, or request headers, response headers, response headers, and request header. Okay, so that's a trick, a workaround to create a new Spring Boot project in IntelliJ Idea Community Edition. You need to go to the Spring Initializer tool, add this URL, fill in the project details. Uh, as the dependency required, click the generate button here and then download the zip archive file and extract the zip archive file into a directory and then open it in IntelliJ ID and then you can write code and run and test the Spring application right inside IntelliJ ID Community Edition. Okay, when done. Let me close the project. Close. Uh, sorry. Click here to terminate the running sub input application. Okay, and close. Okay. Alright, so far you have seen how to create a new sub input project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Let me sum up the key steps you need to uh, remember to quickly create a new Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA community. You need to go to start.spring.io website to use the Spring Initializer tool, fill in the project details and generate the project and download the zip archive file, extract the zip file and open the project in IntelliJ and enjoy coding, running and testing the first Spring Boot project. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to support this channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.